Yo, right everybody, we are back to some more Dungeon Munchies Chapter 3. The ending of our Necromancer Waifu series. Could this be the last video? Yep. Uh, we're in Z's office. Oh, look at that. Cone Boy and Poop Man. I become one again. Installing. Permissions elevated. Municipal manager to executive researcher. After installation, I will have more access to classified documents. It will also let me remotely control more machines in the city. Ugh. Need some bad vibes from this. Giving supercomputers more control usually isn't end well, does it? Nope. The supercomputer usually takes over the world. Installation complete. I have reviewed all the CCTV cameras and discovered possible locations for new recipes. That's incredible. Look. If you can help us get out of this mess, I'll let you control as many worlds as you want. No, you can't fall for that. She's just appealing to your desires so that she can control you later. I have also discovered three seasons of Captain DUI on a high-ranking official's desktop. If, if you could get that for me, your word is my command master. Bruh. Oh, 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 why does this have to happen? So you, oh, what do you want me to do? I can't even manage a single block. We need your voice. Terrible things are afoot and we need someone who can speak to and unite the fruits and vegetables. We need your help to get us out of this dungeon. To be honest, none of us really understand their culture. I don't think we're in a position to convince them to do anything. You're different. No one knows how to talk to them more than you do. Oh, but oh, I said my lieutenant's free to do those terrible things. I, I don't even know if I want to see my face anymore. I have a solution to that. Back in ancient times, celebrities who went into rehab for their drug addictions would often be more popular after they left rehab. Folks will believe you as long as you admit your own mistakes. Everyone was a repentant villain. I'll go on stage with you if you need me to masquerade as your rehab officer. Uh, wh why are you doing this, Necromancer? Uh, you're more than capable of escaping on your own. Why would you need to come to us, your enemies, for help? That's because I need fruits and vegetables for my rest... I mean, I think we should all try to help each other as we're all part of this incredible underground community. We may not see eye to eye at all times, but we must stand united in the face of a common enemy. We have inherited this beautiful dungeon and we're not going to let anything stand in our way, don't you agree? I think you should be writing that speech instead. I think I found the ancestral magic recipes. Oh, let me see, let me see. Huh. I thought it'd be hidden better. It'd be hidden behind spike traps and platforming puzzles. Well, at least we won't have to waste hours rubbing his impaled body over and over again. Don't you think it feels off? Uncle C said he hit the recipes at City Hall. He must have used some kind of illusion magic on it. It's been a long time since we stopped since he stopped working at City Hall. Also, that's just what the book does. It floats around getting blown this way and that. And the civil servants that worked here probably ignored it and like how they used to ignore anything that didn't pertain to their performance evaluations. Hmm. The cover does look enchanted. Hmm? What? There's writing in the first page, but the rest of it's blank? What does this say in the first page? If you can see or touch this book, that means that you were once my pupil. Let this book bring you hope and courage in the darkest of times. Uncle Z. I dedicate this to you, the pupils I am most proud of. Take the ancestral magic recipe aptitude to test. Create a legendary dish requiring the expertise of multiple chefs. Create flavors that transcend multiple dimensions. The remaining secrets of this recipe lay hidden within this bespoke dish. Hidden within? Okay, I get it. Looks like we'll have to make this dish. Uh, this recipe requires a whole lot of prep work. We'll also need more suitable space to do this. Here's the real problem though. Between the two of us, we don't have nearly enough mana to make this dish happen. Are you sure about that? That can't be good. It's that monster again. Detecting a shift of energy from the Sil Power Station to a high density core of magic in the city center. The barrier is also siphoned away and transformed into pure mana. I am unable to determine its purpose, even with our combined effort. We have no means of stopping this massive operation. Is this it? Are we too late? Oh, the necromancer was right. We're all doomed. Uh, what can I possibly do in the face of such an overwhelming power? I I now realize that I'm just an insignificant speck in a vast universe. I never thought I'd 
be so annoyed to hear someone else talk like I usually do. Wait, wait, wait. What did you say about pure mana? Putrid is taking apart the soul barrier surrounding the city. It's turning back into pure mana and flowing towards the center of the city. That means that a buttload of magic must be flowing down these roads right now. Grill, do you remember how during the sophomore year the power went out for a full month at uni? Yeah. I also remember how the climate control lost power and half of the school froze to death. We earned a lot of credits that semester just from heating the dorms and reviving those students. In the end, they cut the culprit. The dean was stealing power on his secret crypto mining farm. Yeah, that's giving me an idea. Putrid has created the whole rivers of high density mana, which is exactly what we need. Is the plan to steal Putrid's power to make food? Can that even be done? What do we have to lose? Big pot right there. Big pot. Big dish. Big everything. So, we're doing a suicide mission. I thought we were just gonna... doing a hot pot. Remember the time we tore our classroom apart to put together a hot pot after we failed our entrance exams? Perhaps the meaning of life is to die without regrets, I think. Uh, I've got that down. I never found the opportunity to say this. But I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. Knowing you has been the greatest joy in my life. I thought I would break down again, like on the eve of the last apocalypse, but that hasn't happened. That's because this time I have all you by my side. You all gave me the courage to face anything this world throws at me. Also, I'm sorry that I failed you. I said I'd bring you to a new world and give you new bodies, but I'm afraid I can't make that a reality. That's okay, it's normal for business owners to lay out unrealistic visions, fail spectacularly, and take no responsibility at all. Tyler and I have used our time to try our new positions. Hmm, so you two were behind the clacking racket behind the warehouse yesterday? Nice. Are we ready? So first we have to... Warning, a large cluster of sea organisms is coming our way. Oh fuck, man. That dumb thing won't even let us do our goodbye party. Our chance of success has dropped to near zero. I suggest we retreat. Nope, if it's sending minions to disrupt us, that means that we're about to do some serious damage. But, can we cook and fight at the same time? Turn around and look at your our guy at the walk, Rill. Look at his confident, tranquil, yet potent expression. What do you see? Um, your apprentice and his charred hairdo? He's an S-rank magical chef, dammit. Look at that face. Do you know what he's saying? Nothing's impossible. Let's get cooking. Oh. Okay. Toss the food they make into the big walk in the middle? I Okay. I see. So, just bring it into the middle. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, the microwave girl, too. I see. This is, uh... This is intriguing, to say the least. Oh, there it is. See, Nichols takes a little while to show up. Hang in there, everyone. We're nearly halfway done. Ah. <sighs> if this is what's opening a restaurant gonna be like, I'd rather be unemployed. Detecting an even more intense wave of sea organisms heading our way. If we don't pull back, our probability of success will soon arrive at zero. The zombie chef may be able to defend for himself, but he won't be able to also protect all of us while trying to cook. <sighs> We're already past the halfway point. We're not giving up. Shit. What do we do now? Reinforcements have arrived! The part-timers have arrived. What's going on? Why are you all the way down here? Wasn't it you who put out a notice about needing part-time workers? Have the positions already been filled? You're late. This entire dungeon is about to collapse. Why haven't you evacuated? We already met Cohen by the evacuation transports. Him and the pool at top of his head explained everything to us. He's not ice cream. You helped us bring the deluded Cohen back to his senses, and you're still trying to do your best as everything can last around you. Huh. You've definitely earned our respect today. I hope you're aware that I cannot protect you from Putin's corruption. If any of you come in contact with CO4, you're all eventually... That is the glory that we've sought to achieve. We shall explode for justice! W what I thought we had to agree before. The next way of sea organisms is fast approaching. We wouldn't be here to fight if you hadn't nurtured us, my lord. If we make it, I promise to make you all the feast that will burst your arteries and vascular tissue. Okay. So, worry about that later, huh? Well, at least we got them boys helping me up top. 
Maybe. Look at this tomato guy. Oh, ho, ho. Yo, look at him. He's got a tomahawk and everything. Oh, get this out of here. Okay, I think like we're like maybe two more meals should just about do it. Seems like Simmer should have something just about done. And she does, it should be it. Let's go! Did we succeed? What is that thing? Who's speaking? Oh, the cosmic bubble tea. Congratulations for completing the Ancestral Magic Recipe after the test. I am Cosmic Bubble Tea, a delicious calorie-rich drink that transcends time and space. I can only be summoned by the greatest of magical chefs, so you've all passed the test. You have now been approved for the Rift Project. The what project? Nickel, do you think about this? There is nothing like that in the database, and my permissions have already been elevated. elevated. I deduced that this was a plan formulated by the highest ranking member of the SUC. The Rift Project was designed to protect individu individuals in the case of total destruction. To learn more, please feel free to speak to me. They really plan for everything. Everything except the disaster prevention, that is. Uncle Z and the other guy, whoever you may be, thank you. Let's go, guys. Looks like there's some hope after all. Drink me, and I will take you into Rift Space, where I'll explain your situation. If for any reason you're unable to drink, simply soak yourself in my liquids. <laughs> this is... This is the only caveat. Please do not use the subject COO putrid as active. That will cause the entire Rift project for fail. That hasn't happened, right? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. What's happening? Was, was Grill freaking impaled? Oh, this is fate. Shit. Why? Oh, I guess it's my time to explode. Explode already! Why won't you? No, no. It seems as if you have not been briefed on this project. I must immediately empty myself. Rift space must not be tainted by putrid. Simmer, what are you doing? You gotta go on if you want to live. What? And leave you all behind? Does it look like you have a choice? Get your butt into that bubble tea right now. Chef, you dive in. If anyone's going, it's gotta be you. Please understand that precautions must be taken to prevent putrids. Huh? No, don't come near me. No! Rift Space Research Station. Created by the world's greatest spatial mage, the Supreme President of the Suck. Our mission is to find new ways to expand space and move civilization off-world. Mm. Mm -hmm. That's a test. That's like a testicle planet right there. Or what? Parallel universe summary. Goal: to locate a suitable Earth in a parallel universe and to migrate the entire population to this new world. Results: opening a rift to another universe takes a lot. of of my soul. During each test, I can only manage a tiny opening before we abort. Earth either didn't exist or was completely uninhabitable in most all the universes we observed. We finally found the Earth with the appropriate climate conditions in the 54th universe, but we could not detect the presence of any civilization. All we saw there was ruins of great cities. Project Parallel Universe Summary to send a scouting party to the Earth in Universe 54. Result, retrieve sample 01. Mm. It's a scrap of eerie paper-like material. Souls cry out in anguish as they behold the horror of existence. He reached out to each and every wailing world and released a drop of his own soul. You mean like this here? Transdimensional subject C00. Subject possesses a potential existential threat to human civilization. It was first spotted by the Supreme President in the, another parallel universe. In the tech mental language, a civilization will draw its attention once it reaches a certain threshold for collective anguish and suffering. Once it targets a certain universe, 
it spills part of its soul and inserts that into that universe. While we have no data of C00's soul shard itself, the data from other universes suggests planetary destruction, or at the very least, the total extinction of the human race. We must reduce the suffering in our civilization if we want to escape the same fate. The civil unrest in the underground cities and Suck's heavy-handed policies have only increased the possibility of attracting the attention of Subject C00. Internet surveillance has already yielded evidence of C00's presence in our universe. It's believed that their own name for Subject C00, Putrid. That uh, looks oddly familiar. Hi. If you're viewing this, you are not from... You are not far from saving everyone. The coordinates of the colony world are saved in my, or should I say, your zombie head. Pass this information on to Simmer, and she'll be able to read these coordinates. Putrid is also after these coordinates. His goal is to activate the Stargate to reach the colony world. That is the reason why Putrid schemed to have you come out here. His believers do not understand cooking and recipes. The contents and information I have revealed cannot be kept from Putrid. He cannot influence the space, but he can observe us. He will pursue you to the moment you return to the world. If Petrid catches you, it's all over. What happens next will be up to you. Who knows where or what it'll be when this video is finally viewed. But I have faith in you. To make it all the way here, you must have at least a hundred times stronger than was... You must be at least hundred times stronger than when I summoned you. I wish you the best of luck. Please help those girls and keep them safe. And finally, thank you for responding to my summons. That looks pretty baller back there. Oh, they've all been assimilated. There's Tyler, or Zama, Tamu. He has arrived. Hello, sworn enemy of Putrid. You must be terribly worried about your friends right now. We have not brought sever severe harm upon them. They've just been knocked unconscious. Putrid is only fulfilling his promise to us. He did not mean to harm your friends. That was inevitable. He also knows that you have prepared an escape vessel. He has agreed to let your friends live if you divulge the coordinates of your colony world. Putrid's ritual has already begun. There's no stopping it, even if you defeat him. Come and join us. We need your help. Submit to us and help us complete the ritual. We'll return your friends to your side. You still have time. Peter advises you to think carefully. Do not be blinded by your preconceptions. Submission is not humiliation. You will both be protecting those who you love and fulfilling Peter's divine destiny. It is the most noble deed, unparalleled in greatness. Oh boy. We are indeed at the end. Putrid is currently attempting to activate the Stargate. Do not disturb him. We are here to ensure the coordinates can be extracted from the zombie's head. Once we have that, the Stargate will lead us to the colony world. Will that finally end the cycle of suffering? Peter will completely eradicate all souls, freeing us forever from the cruel cycle of birth and rebirth. Ha <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see it happen. I want to witness their final screams as we all return to nothing. This is the moment we've been preparing for. Let's do our best to end it all. It's happening. The Stargate's about to open. What's happening? What's wrong, Putrid? Looking for something? Why are my memories filled with re recipes and cooking? You've activated my trap card. It's me, Putrid. It was me all along. How could this be? How did she manage to possess the zombie? Haha, <laughs> you mad? Looks like your boss shouldn't have delegated his stuff to you morons. Sorry, chef. I know this is a workplace privacy violation, but it was an emergency. I latched onto you at the last minute so that I could enter the rift with you. 
I know everything now, thanks to everything you've done for us. I won't let your hard work go to waste. Let me help you with this. Ugh. I thought I'd be able to break free. Well, you know what to do next, Jeff. You. How dare you disrupt this sacred ritual. May he purge your cursed souls. I'll be honest, I'm still kind of scared of you, Putrid. But instead of saving him and helping those who suffer, you've chosen to simply kill and erase. That's why I would not let you prevail. I never thought I'd say this, Chef, but here goes. We're all going to die soon, so this is your final mission. For the sake of those on the other side, do not let them activate the Stargate. Go get him, Chef. Slice him, dice him, and serve Petrid's meat to me on a silver platter. This is this a boss fight? Oh, no. But I, I don't got... I, I... Okay, hold up. Can I switch the building to fly? Okay, there we go. At least I switched uh, builds. I think it is a proper try. Um, am I free falling? What the hell is happening here? I guess I'm trying to free the girls too. Is that what's happening here? Okay. Uh, something's happened. What's happened? I don't know, but he's slightly immune here for now, it does seem. Who are you guys pointing at? This is like a really weird ass fight. I don't understand like the environment, the positioning. I don't understand anything that's been going on right now. Other than apparently got real freed up. Wow, where am I? A simmer okay? The Stargate. Were we in the middle of cooking just now? It's so hard to concentrate. I'm gonna take a quick nap. So is she freed? Yeah, she's freed. Now I gotta get simmer free here. Almost there, almost there, almost there. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, she technically should be freed up now. I don't know, man. I'm not really feeling this here so far. Maybe it's like a prelude, though. Maybe eventually it'll be a real fight. She's freed now, right? Yes. Did it work? Where's the grill? Sorry. I feel really weak right now. I'll be back soon. Okay, so maybe... No, it's still pretty much the same thing. Now a real fight, right? Yes, I think. I mean, we're still kind of doing this weird-ass environmental free-fall climb thing, but uh, whatever. We can avoid that. That's fine. That's fine. Dodge through that. Ooh. 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 Yeah, that's kind of cool. It just seems to be like multiple stages of like weirdness. You know what I'm saying? Like, just multiple stages of weirdness. And I can't really comprehend, like, what's really, really happening. That's Sid? That feels like a very disappointing boss. Like, that's it? I, I, I don't know what I was doing, like, half of the time. Like, I don't, I don't understand what was happening. Like, falling shit that you were kind of climbing, but, like, in reality, you were never really too much in danger. You shot... Like, that can't be the final fight. No, no. This can't be happening. Don't leave us, Putrid. We may have failed, but he can still destroy everything you care about. Since you've been fighting for your friends, we shall separate you forever. Oh, Putrid, please take all the energy and Stargate for yourself. Use me. Take what's left of my soul. Nothing matters anymore. Do anything you want. Just make the pain stop. Okay. All right. I mean, this looks, looks kind of freaking cool. I... <laughs> oh, I, I guess I'm just dodging momentarily? I feel like I'm under 
a lot of... What, what are you doing? That? How many drugs have I been taking? I have no clue. Visually, this is all awesome, but like mechanically, in terms of like gameplay, it's like. Alright. Yes. He couldn't vanquish you? Not even when. Putrid your voice. It's so distant. You win, zombie. Are you happy now? He couldn't kill you, but you're now trapped inside this dimension. You have no power. You have nothing. How are Simmer and Grow doing? You will never. No. There's nothing here. Those that have trampled on us, they will continue to live their happy lives. What did you have to ruin everything? Forget it. The cycle continues if I have to live another life. I guess I'll just give it another try. Scared. No, I'm terrified. Why do I not even have a choice? Darkness slowly enveloped everything. Only darkness remained. Only darkness. Darkness? My child, I hope that one day you will come to understand the decisions I have made. You're a bundle of love and kindness, just like your mother. That's why the world ultimately took her from us. Huh, look at this. Free zombie me. Grilled and simmers. Lieutenant Ping. The Sug did not construct these underground structures. We joined forces with all the other nations without underground shelters and invaded this massive facility. That tenuous alliance crumbled right after we took over. An internal war wrote, erupt over the little resources were left. Your father and I, along with the Executive Council, decided to take drastic measures. We turned this dungeon into a bloodbath, massacring the population of submission. Peace was achieved only after paving the streets with bodies. No one was in the mood to celebrate. It's a dog-eat, dog world out there. You either become a savage animal, or you submit. The cruel thrive while the virtues are relegated to the soul power plants. There's a hidden third option. Destroy both the oppressors and the oppressed. End it all. The putrid method? According to our measurements, once 0.5% of putrid soul infiltrates our dimension, the Earth will no longer be inhabitable. Abandoning the Earth now is our only option. The Ark Project will be our final attempt to escape our current predicament. The project calls for the president to open the Stargate for a short period of time. Government officials and thousands loyal of high-ranking mages will pass through the Stargate and arrive at the colony world. The rest of the population will have to be left behind. With a wealthy legion of experienced mages, building a new society should be a piece of cake. Yeah, but screw everybody else, huh? Only the rich and the influential. What are you waiting for? I can't keep the Stargate open for much longer. We need to go now. Never thought I'd see you again. I loved your book, The Utter Moron's Guide to Necromancy. I kept reading it and rereading it while I was in Rift Space. I actually have a couple of questions about skin discoloration during the zombification process. Is there any way to fix that?
why am I doing this? I ask myself all the time. Over the years, I've been told over and over again about the lives my father has taken. I've gotten used to the feeling of ending people's lives for my own benefit. I want to try something different before the world ends. I want to try doing it the other way. If I could just, for once in my life, sacrifice myself for someone else. And this is basically where we awaken from at the very start of the game. Hey, hey, wake up. Now it's not the time to be dying. You know how long it took to find you? I've invested a lot into you, so you're contractually obligated to stay alive and in my employment forever. Wake up. The heroes awaken. Greetings. I'm the kitchen goddess for the city of Omelas. We need you to defeat the evil demon lord. Your first mission is to clear the field of grass slimes, which have 25% chance of dropping apples. Return to me once you get like the three apples in the fry pan. Stop messing with him, Simmer. We can't be sure his mind made it in one piece. Hey, remember me? I'm your boss, Grill. We used to work in my restaurant, where the blue deadbeat always comes in to beg for spare change. You're the deadbeat. You were sleeping the entire time we fought Putra last year. Ugh, you know, it takes a real skill to sleep that well. Hey, it's been a while. Rob the professional mechanic at your service. That was the second time I saved your ass. Did you think your life would end in darkness? Denied. Good endings only. To be precise, Professor Shroom learned about the space you were interned in after connecting with Putrid's network. Simmer and Grill then formulated a modified cosmic bubble tea to create an opening through which Rob beamed you here. Rob only participated in the final step. We would never have found you if Professor Shroom didn't volunteer to sacrifice himself. Uh, well Shroom was on the way out still so before he dipped completely. He sacrificed himself for us, huh? Are you talking about the person who made me? Yeah, he was the best. Oh, I'm glad you can still move. Girl and I spent a long, long time figuring out Uncle Z's recipes. We were so distraught at the thought of losing you forever. Since we have recovered the zombie, I suggest a change of course for the colony world. Okay, let's fire up those engines. Check it out! While you were trapped back there, we managed to build this massive spaceship. After you banished Pewter back to his own dimension, the ritual continued and ended up blowing up the Earth. We got everyone into the ship, but we continue to orbit Earth's remains as we try to locate you. Now that everyone's actually here, we can now head back towards the colony world. Full speed ahead, Nickel! Understood. Shifting course for the colony worlds. I wonder what it's going to be like. Do you think we could start a restaurant when we get there? We can start the Dungeon Munchies franchise. Let's create another obesity pandemic in the colony world with highly addictive fast food. I thought you hated that name. Holy crap, you can do that with your face? But I do kind of agree with what a lot of people said. It does also feel at the very end very rushed. Like, they kind of just wanted to get this done with finally already. So I don't know, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a little bit of a bitter taste feeling. It felt a good bit rushed at the end, definitely. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the trip at the very least, whether you were here from the very start in the first episode or you found it sometime afterwards, but you're here now watching the finale. I hope you enjoyed the trip along with me as well. I'll catch you next time.